Mmm, look at this bad boy right here. Just washed it. I went back roading a couple of weeks ago and I hadn't washed my Jeep before today and I just got done washing it. And it looks like it's already got some dirt on it already. Come on now. Yeah, it's just stuff that didn't come off. Yeah, anyway. The rest of it's clean. So, yeah, what do you think about that? So I just got done washing my Jeep. Um, it's Sunday evening. It's day seven on the carnivore diet. And I've been really bloated today for some reason. I'm not sure exactly why. Um, I did have an omelet this morning. And it has sausage and cheese in it. And I think the cheese might be what got me. I don't know. I've just been really bloated all day long. Um, but, you know, ate really well yesterday. Still no coffee. Still nothing but water to drink. Um, a bunch of... I had like a pound of bacon this morning. I made some bacon chips. <laughs> they were awesome. Um, and, and then an omelet and some sausage patties and some more bacon. And that's really about all I've had to eat today. Um, going to go home and make some barbecue country style ribs, you know, on the grill. So that's going to be awesome. Um, other than feeling really bloated today, uh, I do still feel better. I do think that there's a decent change in my face today. Um, and even though I'm bloated, I'm not as big as I normally would have been before I started doing this. So I've got that to, to be happy about. Um, didn't work out yesterday. Didn't work out today. It did start raining yesterday and it's been raining most of the day today, but that's no excuse when I've got an elliptical machine in the house. But anyway, and I've got to be at work at seven o'clock tomorrow morning. So I'm going to try to get up and squeeze in a workout on the elliptical before I go. I don't know if it's going to happen. I'm just a big, huge sissy when it comes to getting up and going to work out. Um, but anyway, I need to head back to the house. Just got done washing my awesome Jeep and it's going to be a good night. Uh, still no cheating on the diet. I haven't eaten anything that I, I shouldn't eat which was crazy because my wife made some chocolate chip cookies the other night and they <laughs> smelled so good. Oh my God. They smelled so good. And, uh, but I didn't have any, I didn't eat any. And even though I wanted to, and I, I almost did and I almost made a cup of coffee this morning, but I decided against it. Um, so anyway, yeah, still doing good. I'm still not on the scale yet. Tomorrow's going to be day eight. And I think a week from tomorrow will be the day that I get on the scale for the first time. Um, I started out at 212 and I mean, I can, I can tell that I'm a little bit smaller. Um, I'm not skinny by any stretch, um, but I can tell that I'm a little bit smaller. Uh, I have more energy. Not that I was really lacking in energy, but I can tell that I do have more now. And it's really weird. Once my body gets up to a certain weight and it's usually right around like 207, 208, which isn't huge. I'm not a huge, big, you know, tank ass, but it's big for me and it's all right in my gut. Um, when I get up to around 207 and 208, then I, it gets a little bit harder to breathe. Like, and when I, when I eat the way that I'm not supposed to, when I'm putting down ice cream, when I'm putting down potato chips, when I'm putting down beer or when I'm doing all that stuff, um, all that stuff sits heavier on me once I get to a certain weight. And it'll make me hard to breathe. Like, uh, like I'll just roll over in the bed and I can't breathe all of a sudden. It's just incredible. Um, so I've noticed that that's pretty much gone. Um, so I'm really, really good with that. Um, I like not feeling like that. Um, I like feeling like I have more breath just because I don't have all this crap inside me. That's just, you know, laying on top of my lungs all the time anymore. So it's a great feeling. Um, if anybody out there is thinking about trying the carnivore diet and I, look, I don't, I don't get any views on my, I don't think I haven't even checked. Um, but I don't have any subscribers. So, I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't think anybody's watching this, but if anybody ever does watch it, if you're thinking about doing the carnivore diet, it, try it for a week. You know, I'm, this is my seventh day and already I notice my face feels a little bit slimmer. Um, my body feels slimmer and it even looks a little bit slimmer to me. 
at this point, but it's it's even easier to breathe right now, um, where, you know, seven days ago, it was not that easy to breathe at times if I just put two beers down or if I just ate a bunch of, you know, potato chips or something or, you know, ice cream. And, and it just, I was so weighed down that it was literally had giving me, you know, difficulty breathing. So, I mean, those are three, you know, good side effects right there just from a week on carnivore. You know, I feel a little bit thinner. I look, my face is definitely a little bit slimmer. Um, and it's literally easier to breathe now. So, you know, it's, it's, it's going to take your stomach a little bit to adjust, but, um, it's, it's well worth it. It, it, you know, and I'm no doctor, don't get me wrong, but if I were to do a week on, a week off, and a week on, and a week off, I, I think that's a pretty sustainable, you know, lifestyle. Uh, I'm going to obviously keep doing it for the 30 days, but, um, you know, why not? Month on, month off, month on, month off. Um, and I literally feel like the worst you could do on that is break even. So, like I said, I'm not a doctor, don't listen to me. But, anyway, yeah, I'm going to head back to the house. Uh, the Jeep is clean, and I'm really happy about that. Um, going to make some ribs tonight, and got to be at work early tomorrow. Still no working out, because I'm a big, huge P word, but I'll get around to it one of these days. Uh, anyway, I'm out.